Hit it. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I am your host, Paige Jen. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing great. How is everybody over there? How's everybody over there? Good. Really well. Cool. Yes. And uh, how are the rock fuckers? We guys, uh, we hope that you guys have been just out there just fucking rocks and, and just having a good time with life. Yeah, thank you for showing up and being here. Um, Amen. With, with life right now, we have done some stuff with our new studio. <sighs> yes, ma'am. That's a cool whistle. And that was on accident, by the way. Um, yeah, we've been working on the new studio. We are hope we are hoping that in the next two to four episodes, we'll be in the new studio. And it's looking great. It's looking good. Big surprise. We got big surprises. And, uh, yeah, I guess the big surprises would be, like, new colors, new... (sighs) We might do new segments. Well, we will do new segments. We'll have some new segments for you. It's going to be exciting. I'm so excited. Just know that. For all the room. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck, dude. Exactly. We get to stretch. Oh, Hey, what's the temp going to be like, you think? Oh, there? I'll keep it cold down there. Okay. Uh, 68. That's perfect. Yeah. Nice little... Antarctica weather. Yeah, that's great. I don't want to be hot during film while filming a podcast. That's hell. And we're down in the basement, so it stays cold. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I love I, it. I hear a little crackling every time I talk. I don't hear it. It's only when I talk I hear buzzing. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Do we have a technical difficulty? Hey, honey's buzz all during here. <laughs> it may just be your headphones remember because i don't hear it okay as long as you guys don't but damn it's hard to talk oh sorry about the honeys so okay. is it doing that same thing it did previously again like Z- oh. all i hear when i talk uh. is can i just say we have good quality expensive um, um equipment equipment okay this ain't equate shit okay this is yeah this is high quality we spent some money Okay, and we're always having technical difficulties. Maybe we're not good at plugging stuff in. Honestly, that could be it. (laughs) Just unplug it, blow on it, plug it back. Would you do that? Did you have a Nintendo and you would blow in the... Oh, are you kidding me? That's my Uh favorite thing to do is blow in a Nintendo game. And then shove it back in and take it back out. That was good. And I've got the old school Super Nintendo. Still to this yeah. day? Yeah. We just we, found it again. We used to play it all the time, but then we moved and it was boxed up, so I'm going to unbox that bitch. Jerry found a brand new one at a yard sale for like 20 bucks, <sighs> and he looked it up. It was worth like $500. Yeah, Never I, opened. I bought mine on eBay for like 200 Yeah. Damn. Yep. Yeah, so you sure. guys be on the lookout for that. We will keep you updated on the on the new studio and all that stuff. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, um, where we are just you know posting regular stuff. Yep, do that if you want to be a rock fucker of the week. Exactly, which I will be announcing here shortly. But first, I don't know. Do you got a DM page? What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, we'll tell ya. What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? Okay, I guess I'll just go. You go. This girl said, ugh, there was a reason why I unfollowed you, and I will continue to do so. You are not funny. Oh, God. <laughs> and I put, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> mine's pretty close to that. Did we have the same lady messages? Was her name Ashley? With the two oh, E's? sorry, this one's Mark. Mm. And Mark said to me, you guys ready for this? <clears throat> Let's make something clear. (laughs) (laughs) Comma. (laughs) I'm already already done. Let's make something clear. Oh, boy. You are not the least bit funny. (laughs) You need all the help you can get. (laughs) You are a rude, vulgar woman. What the hell? (laughs) That's it? 
Yeah. People get so mad. Why all the help you can get? Uh, let's make one thing clear. You need all the help. I guess, yeah, I guess two comments that say we're not funny. That's but we're here. Hey, we're here. And people, and you're not. Right. Right. So got your ass. So, gotty. Got your ass. Damn. Dude, nothing makes me happier than a DM like that, though. Oh, no. I'm I'm being serious. I think it's so fucking funny. It's hilarious. Another thing, too, my family's been here for a week. Oh, wow. It's been nuts. Your whole family. They Not- just po- they came here today and wanted to check out the podcast studio. They were just here. Did you know they were coming? The whole, the second wave? Uh, no, not the second wave of family. <laughs> they were, my aunt loves the podcast and wanted to come see it, so. Shout out to Aunt Jody. She listens to every episode. Mm-hmm. So I thought, she's like, I I want to come so bad. I'm like, you have to be quiet. I know. I swear I'll be quiet. But they she left. came and then the whole family decided to show up. So it's been a little chaotic. Yep. And uh, Jody came in here and was taking pictures of the pod. She's a rock fucker. Mm-hmm. She is. Family rock fuckers. It's cool to have family that support <clears throat> you saying, oh, my pussy. It's great. <laughs> it's great. They're a cool oh. bunch of dudes. Cool oh. bunch of dudes. And you know what? I feel like... You and I have done a lot of talking the first few minutes of the pod. Maybe we should let someone else, I don't know, talk for a minute maybe. Let off the wall. Give the wall a break. We were talking about Nintendo, you know, and Super Nintendo and... Like Jerry's pretty good at video games, and I, you know, I told him I do, I can do anybody in uh, Street Fighter Two or um, NBA Jam. So uh, yeah, I did them, and um, not boasting or anything, but Jerry's pretty good at video games. Got me, made me want to get back into maybe playing. So, um, but into the Merlin Bird app lately. It's where you can. Press the button and it'll. There's a lot of birds in Tennessee, so I just wanted to figure out, you know, what birds are out there. <laughs> so if you're in Lowe's, those are house sparrows. Just to let you know, there. There's a lot. Oh, if you were watching the PGA golf event, they were the, the red winged blackbirds. And then I I tried to see if they can pick up mine. I was going. Like, Brett, this your dad. Time's oh. up. Lean back. Russ has never came in quicker. <laughs> Man, thank you, Russ. Hey, Brett. Yeah. That app, it's going to be different everywhere, dude. If they're watching PGA tournament, that could be in South Carolina, and then the next one could be in Delaware. They're just going to be different birds. No, I'm saying if they were watching that PGA tour event, you know, and there were a lot of uh, annoying, annoying bird sounds, I'm like, what the hell is that bird? And at that event was the red winged blackbird. They were doing I, the mating calls yeah. to each other. Hmm. I did just get shit on by a bird. Yeah. On your face? On my hand. I was getting ready to serve the tennis ball. And as I'm, I dribble the ball three times before I serve. And then I, as soon as I'm going, I look down at my hand and a bird shits right on my fingers. This is my third time getting shit on. You know be funny? Bad. If he shit on you and all of a sudden you hear, gotty. <laughs> That's what I'd do if I was a bird. I know. That would be you. I was saying, if I was a bird, I would fucking love dropping bombs on people. Yeah. For sure. Agree. Have you guys been shit on? <clears throat> well, so, I've shit on myself. <coughs> several times. <laughs> Not on yourself. Great. But by a bird, I don't think I've ever been... I don't think so. Not my body. Never? I don't think I have either. <clears throat> uh-uh. Watch us get shit on now. I know. And you will. We will. I've been shit on three times. And you guys haven't even ever... Damn. Why is bird shit white? I know. And then the inside, it kind of looks like a zero bar. Gross. They say you're lucky if you get shit on. I think it's the other way. Really? Yeah. Oh. They say good luck's coming. It's like, for real? Good luck's coming if you get shit on? Interesting. Hmm. 
Very interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and announce Rock Fucker of the Week. And how you get Rock Fucker of the Week is just interact with our viral podcast social medias. Share, comment, like, etc. This week's Rock Fucker of the Week is Stephanie Duzak. Stephanie We'll send you a piece of merch, honeys. And also keep in mind, we have started doing monthly merch drops with limited edition and limited amounts of uh, merch. And you can get that at theviralpodcast.co. Theviralpodcast.co. So make sure to get in there because we've been getting so many messages. I didn't get that shirt. Well, you got to be quicker or. Yeah. You're not going to get anything. Wait till next month. And the shirts are different each month. And this ensures um, that the quality is better. They're, they're, um, let's just put it that way. We've worked really hard to ensure that the quality is better than it has been. And we think this is the best way to do it. And so that's how we're doing it. And I like the new shirts each month. It's fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So thanks for clicking. Just use those fucking thumbs. And just use your thumbs. You know, whether it's to click or to rub something, just, I think, I think, I just think people forget to use their thumbs. What do you use your thumbs the most for? Probably scrolling. Let's be real. Um, second thing would be, I don't know, just mashing things like uh, tacks, stuff like that. I use for my thumbs a lot. Um, Opening doors. I will use, I will do that. Yeah. So just don't forget. Don't forget your thumbs are there. Okay. All right. Well, Maggie, I got something to say to you. Can you roll roll that beautiful bean footage? Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Our next partner has a product I literally use every day. I started taking AG1 because, as you guys know, I travel a lot for work. I'm a stand-up comedian. I hated taking a million different vitamins with me. It was hard to keep up with, and honestly, it was annoying. So, I started using AG1. Boom. Just got to take one thing with me. And I wanted better gut health because, as you guys know, them shrimps be singing. And it's not only shrimps. Sometimes it doesn't even matter what I eat, whatever I'm eat, they be singing. The liquid song, if you know what I'm talking about. So what is this stuff? With one delicious scoop of AG1, you are absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. So don't be sleeping on them. Wake up. Y'all, it's quick. It's easy. You take a spoonful, mix it into some water, and you down it. And I know it can look intimidating because it's green, so you're going to think, oh, it's going to be nasty. It's not nasty at all. You guys know I don't consume nasty stuff. I don't do it, okay? This has like a really like light vanilla flavor to it. It's really quite good. And it costs less than $3 a day. Plus, you're investing in your health. Come on now. You would be dumb to not be drinking AG1. And you guys, it's lifestyle friendly, okay? Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, whatever the heck you are, they've got you covered, okay? It's lifestyle friendly. Plus... It has less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day, and that's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash viral. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. 
Hey guys, this is just a little question. I was wondering if any of y'all are really, really competitive because I feel like a lot of people are competitive and then there's some like me that just aren't. I guess it's kind of in our DNA to be a big competitive as humans. But um, I'm just curious as to why people are more competitive than others. So yeah, like which one of y'all is very competitive and why do you think that is anyway love you guys love you honeys good one uh i would say i'm competitive but maybe not a sore loser that'd be brett <sighs> competitive uh, and a sore loser yep or, oh yep yeah oh. you hit both but i actually like that. losing no, you don't. Mm. Come on. Okay. See, he's being competitive even in this conversation, <laughs> yeah. dude. Um, I'm not competitive. T- bitch. Really? You. What do you mean? You get competitive and trivial. Yeah. I'm just having fun. You're, you're not competitive <laughs> at all with anything? When we're playing something, Uno, a sport, anything, I, I, I could care less whether I win or lose. I just like doing it. I don't yeah. get, I'm not competitive in that way. The Jackbox game? I'm just really good at that. Well, I would say I'm competitive, but if I lose, then it's, then but, I'm not going to be like pouting. But I obviously win and it's fun. Yeah. What y'all's, I, what y'all's definition of competitive? What, yeah. do I, what do I do in Jackbox that's competitive? I'm going to pass the, the mic over to Beth. Okay. I don't know what that she, game is. Because she wanted me to say Jackbox. Jackbox. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Beth. <laughs> Lean forward. What's that one game in Jackbox that you're obsessed with and that yeah. you yep. just dominate the room in? That's because I'm good at it. I don't the know. The gaslighting game. The gaslighting game. It's the one where you lie and you have to pick which who's lying mm-hmm. in the Faking room. Faking it. Yeah. Oh, she is so competitive. Okay, no. Lane. Would you say that I'm just a good liar or I'm competitive? For that game, honestly, on Jackbox, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, it's so fun. Biffy? I would say a little bit of both, oh, honestly. Okay. Yeah. I would say for me, more competitiveness wouldn't be games like that, like Uno and shit, but I would say more competitive at Sports. physical yeah. physical activities. Okay. Like yeah. if me and Brett did a one-on-one in basketball, like we're oh, going God. hard. Y'all are, y'all are. Yeah. I think she that's... broke my uh, Snapchat recording glasses. <laughs> wow. Trying to block my shot. Now, Brett, I, I want to have nothing to do with in terms of any sort of game. Yeah. He, he's the guy who plays Uno and changes the rules all the time and goes, I didn't know. And then he just gaslights us. He's gaslighting us right now, yeah, actually saying, I love losing. Yeah. Well, yeah. A hundred percent. That's because ha- it rarely, rarely happens. And Brett, so- playing Uno with you. Oh God! It's the worst. It's the worst thing in the world because Brett gets you get so angry and mad and loud and, but not in a fun way. Not in like a fun competitive way. You get serious to where I'm like, you need to leave. I just wanted to know the rule. I don't really play Uno. I just want to make sure we all were playing by the same rules. Well, you don't play because we don't let you play anymore. Because I didn't how- know there were no rules really to Uno. You should already know the rules. Well, you go by the house oh. rules. I say. Everybody plays a game different, so right. whoever's what, house you're in, you're yeah. Maybe going. you should give me another chance. Hell no. No. You ruined it. No. Nah. <laughs> Brett's, Brett's, Brett, I've never played, I've never played any sort of game where someone has acted that way. We would give you another chance, but the fact that you can't play games with my family because you act like this, my sisters, Chelsea, We had anyone? a good uh, game of Shoot the Moon the other I night. S- I, I swear mean. to you, we need to go live or vlog just set up a camera of us playing Uno, and you better not act brand new and act different. He will. He'll, he he'll would. know the camera's he on. Let's get a uh, little microscopic candle or like camera. Fanny pack a pen, maybe. And if we post this, mm-hmm. you guys will know what we're talking about. You'll say, I would never play Uno with him again. Get a hidden camera in your house. Yeah. Okay, done. Done. I love hidden cameras. <laughs> done. They always save me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got blamed once for uh, something. Huh. Some mark on the wall, I think it was. <laughs> huh? And somebody had it. Jerry threw something, and it hit the wall. And it was on uh, that thing. Okay. Hey, Brett. Yeah. 
Brett. Time's they up. They kept forgetting Brett, they were being recorded. Brett, lean yeah. back. Okay. Okay. Hey, Brett, it's your dad. <laughs> Do we need to call Russ? Okay. Anyway. Yeah. That's a good question. That was a good question. We're all a competitive bunch. Who's the most competitive out of you three, though? Out of you three sisters? Probably Beth. Beth? Probably Beth. Yeah. Okay. I would say I, Beth. I was going to say Chelsea, but. Really? Who's the biggest oh. sore loser? Oh. I'd I say, I don't say, no. I think no one. Mm-mm. In first grade, my teacher sent a letter to my parents saying I was too competitive. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. Well, there you go, Brad. So I guess it just. Okay, uh, yeah. And you're going to sit there and say you're not. No, I am competitive, but I enjoy losing. In one of our tennis matches, he slams the ball and goes, oh, screaming. You don't do that in a tennis match, first of all. And then he walk. You know how some people walk like they're so fucking cool after they do something? <laughs> Doing that, and oh. I was fucking pissed. They came to me after and said, your boyfriend has poor sportsmanship <gasps> and is fucking ridiculous basically and i was so wow. embarrassed i'm like dude wow who are you that's, they were just sandbaggers they were just upset that's what it is poor sportsmanship that's you brett no i shook their hands after and i said great match <laughs> <laughs> only because you won no we lost uh, oh yeah hmm. so you, don't my act, hat. you don't act up like that it's weird dude brett what do you gotta say for yourself I think she's kind of exaggerating a little bit. The other team came up to her and Gas said, Latin. your your boyfriend had... They found me after our game and said, hey, we just wanted to know you did great, but your boyfriend... <laughs> I'd have been mortified. All right, let's There's a lot more on. to the story, but... <laughs> There's a lot more... You want to keep talking about it? There's a lot more to the story. That's all you need to know, okay? Okay. okay. Next question. The guy was kind of a... All right, lean back. Next question. Here we go. Back. Hey, honey, going on a walk here. Got a couple of questions. First one is, do you think that the majority of the population has a sense of humor like the rock suckers do? Or do you think that we're a minority and everybody else is too afraid to admit that they think that our humor is funny? My second question is, there's nothing more irritating than somebody that eats like a kid and is repulsed by food and makes comments about it at a dinner table. So my question is a would you rather. Would you rather sit at a table for every meal with somebody that comments about how grossed out they are by the food on their plate or your plate, or would you rather eat kid food for the rest of your life for every meal? And kid food is chicken nuggets, pizza, frozen pizza, um, lunchables, that kind of thing. And then the last thing is, I am so obsessed with birds. There. Okay, honey. The Merlin app. She needs the app. Hey, honey. Sanctuary there. You okay? And it cuts off. All right. Damn. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't pull out your app. Uh, I should have. Yeah. Bird, 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 the bird is the word. Um... Do we think <clears throat> that the mo- most of the population has a sense of humor like us, crude, could be v- labeled as inappropriate? Or just real. Or real life. Or do we think, are we are we the minority, or, or do we think people are just afraid to admit it, afraid to talk about it? I think the latter. The latter? Like you climb up? <laughs> <laughs> the last one. The fuck did you just say? The last one. The late, the last one I said, the ladder. You ever oh, heard that? Hell no, the what? ladder. Latter yeah, that's Saint. a thing, isn't it? That's yeah. a yeah. yeah you're tripping yeah. balls. I've never heard that. Um, not not everyone has our sense of humor, but I I mean I've yeah I think people are too scared to, you know, uh, admit, admit it or it. too scared to. I because I've had people oh my gosh that come up to me all the time and they're like. And I'm sure you're list- people that are listening now. Oh my gosh, I think you know talking about this, this, and this is so funny. But I can't be that way around my friends, mm-hmm. or I can't be that way around my family. They may be saying, thinking the same thing. That's what I think because people were afraid are afraid to share our podcast on their stories when mm-hmm. we did a giveaway, and it's just they everyone's thinking the same fucking mm-hmm. thing. I feel mm-hmm. like people are just afraid to say it. Mm-hmm. Like 
all 100%. these people who act all religious, you know what they're thinking. Pussy. 100%. They're thinking cock. They're thinking pussy. Big loads. <laughs> cock. Yeah. Nuts. Nuts. Jizz, nutting. Climbing walls. Chickens getting cummed in. Whatever. They're thinking that because that's what's happening. Yeah. Who? What else would they be thinking about? Nothing. Drywall? No. You Birds. know what I mean? So. That's why you just kind of got to <clears throat> talk or be open if that is you. And those people either come along or they don't. Obviously, read the room. Don't be disrespectful. Right. right. But, I mean, you can kind of gaslight and get a little bit out of them. Yeah. I'm a big read the room guy. People think that mm-hmm. I, people think that I will just go anywhere and be like, you know, pussy, your pussy stinks in the middle of a restaurant. And I'm not going to do that. No. Um, you know, I do a lot of radio interviews when I'm trying to promote tour and I've had some radio stations kind of before we go live be like, Hey, you know, like just watch what you say. Like, please keep it clean. And I'm like, of course it's 7 a.m on a live radio why would you think I would get on there and just talk about I mean I, there's a time and place for that type of humor and even I know that and I've had listen I have wonderful managers and wonderful agents who let they let me be me they've never once had a problem with anything I've posted said done but I was talking to my agent not too long ago and she was like um I forgot what job it was it was some sort of hosting job for some music festival that was put on by a big oh, I can't even remember what it was type thing or might what? have been like CMT or something oh, big damn. like that and she was like I pitched your name and and they loved the idea but uh several of the people were kind of you know they were like oh she's too vulgar she's too vulgar and it's like first off I yes that is my comedy that's what I think's funny I have a lot of of content on TikTok, Facebook, whatever, that's actually very clean because of censorship, because of multiple reasons. I have so many videos that I would be okay to let a kid watch. Mm -hmm. I actually have a lot of clean videos out there. And I told her that. I go, people just remember the dirty ones because they're the funniest fucking ones. (laughs) One that sticks out. Because they're the ones people remember. They're funny. You know, my aunt, who uh, is a is a substitute teacher, back when she was teaching regularly, she was like, oh, my gosh, all these junior high kids were saying how big of a fan of yours they were. And I was just thinking, oh, my God, I can't believe they watch your stuff. And I go, Gayla, I could get on TikTok right now and find you quickly clean videos Mm -hmm. like that are. I, that people kid friendly and there's some that are not there's a lot that mm-hmm. are not but people remember those because they're so fucking funny even with the podcast i feel like it's not all dirty talk just because we'll talk about real right. things that happen but it's not to me it's not like dirty right for some reason i think because it's just real fucking life I'm going to uh, tell the story of when, of when we met Joe D. Messina. I was hosting. Te- Who the hell is Joe D. Messina? Heads Carolina, Tales California. That song. Somewhere deeper. Yep. We met her at Tailgates and Tallboys uh, when I was hosting it last year. And I was really excited to meet her. And um, I walked up and I was like, I introduced myself. And she was like, oh, uh, uh, she was like, are you the raunchy comedian? And and she goes, they were warning me about you. And I go, uh, I go, I wouldn't say I'm that bad. I go, unless real life subjects scare you. Like if your, if your ears can't handle real life talk, stop. Yeah. I'm like, not really. Yeah. That's fucking weird. They warn. If anybody's warning anybody do better. Like I got up, I didn't say one thing out of line hosting that whole thing. And I did well. And I had a good time. and It was funny. You know what I mean? There were kids in the audience. I'm not going to, you know. we I've kind of dealt with that all my life, though. Just not being Mormon. So people just yeah. kind of look at you a different way. So yeah, I'm used to it. But it's just funny that people will grab whatever that and stick with it. And then can't look past it. Oh, hosting that 
uh, that music festival last year, I was up on stage. And by the way, there's like 25, 30,000 people in the audience. Mm -hmm. And everybody up front started chanting like, show us your tits. Show (laughs) us your tits. And thousands of people were chanting it. And there are children in the audience. I am not going to flash my tits in front of little kids. Not doing it. There's a time and a place. You read the room. (laughs) And people got so mad. They're like, oh, come on. I'm like, there are kids. I mean, people think that I have just have no filter at all. No filter, no social boundaries. No, like, there's a time and place for stuff like that. Even not uh, raunchy stuff, but people come to me at your shows and say, Paige, you should go fake fall up on the stage. I would never do that. Yeah. And like, like, what? Like during my set or something? Uh, Yeah. Surprise. People just think, oh my gosh, you're here and you fake fall. Go do it. it. You can't do that type of stuff. If I go fake fall and just try to take away a, a show yeah. that I'm not even part of, yep. nah. There's a time and place. It kind of reminds me of when people get uh, engaged at weddings. What do oh, you think yeah. about that? Yeah. People that get engaged at weddings. Um, yeah, I think maybe pick another time to do it. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> it happens so much. Now, I'm not like, but. I'm not like, I don't. It, yeah. I'm not like, oh, that's a horrible person. No, but I personally would not want to do that at someone else's wedding. Nah. That's how I feel like when people tell me to do the fake fall, though. I'm like, yeah. hell no. Nah. Yeah. It's weird. But I think more people have our sense of humor for sure. I think that it's... It, especially in the past past years it's frowned upon to talk about certain things and i disagree talk about everything i disagree speak I, your mind cuz if you talk about one thing then it relates to somebody else and then i mean even the whole nipple conversations people were so insecure and then we got a lot of calls and messages from thanking the person who called about mm-hmm. being self-conscious about her nipples so mm-hmm. just anything could help somebody else exactly and just say what you feel fuck everybody else oh, i don't yeah. give a fuck fuck them dude. i don't you know mm-hmm. what i mean oh god anyway Damn. oh her, her last thing was i wrote it down here because i knew we'd forget she said how would you rather go out to eat with people who complain about how gross the food is or eat kids' food. Or eat kids' food for the rest of your meal, your life. Like Lunchables, chicken nuggets. Both. I don't want to do either. Uh, I, c- I could not eat kids' stuff for the rest of my life. Love food too much. But also, it's annoying when people, well, when people complain about stuff in general, when they're complainers. I can't stand to be around complainers. But if they're complaining about the food constantly, yeah, that, that would annoy me. I feel like you just... Can't get rid of them. People complain left and right, dude. So I feel like I'll just stick with it because it's already happening all the time. (laughs) So might as well just keep rolling and eat the food. When we're on the road, me, Tina, Beth, and Libby, like me, Tina, and Beth, especially me and Tina, we love to go eat, man. If we have time, we'll go find a nice restaurant, a cool restaurant. We like, we're foodies. We like to try different things. Libby is not. She is very much eats chicken nuggets and shit so we know that if we're gonna go have sushi she is she'll she'll tell you don't invite me if we're going to eat anything she's like don't invite me because she will complain the whole time and i'd rather just enjoy my meal so it's a mutual thing if 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 we're going somewhere other than chilies she's like don't invite me for real dude even though i don't eat all the food i still like to i like those sides Yes. Chelsea took me to a steakhouse for my birthday, and I don't even eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. (laughs) They got a bunch of sides, really good sides. And that's what I like. Yeah. I think we should seriously have a channel where I I, um, do reviews on the sides, and you do reviews on the main course, the meats. That's a great, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. The meats. The meat. Arby's. Brett, what you thinking? I was just thinking about Arby's, how good it is, the Mm. sliders. Mm. No, the sauce, the Arby's sauce. I don't like sauce. I guess my blood type says that, and I don't like sauce. Really? Yeah, AB positive. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a big sauce guy. 
Do you believe in the blood type thing? I think so. I've been wanting to get that, get mine tested. If you haven't heard about this, they can test your blood and, and know what foods are good for you. What foods are not good for you. Like what have you heard? Y'all have heard of that. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to get that done. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I just know I love sauce. Oh, you're a big sauce guy. My blood type will just say love sauce. Sauce. She's O positive, so they love sauce. You know what's funny? I'm not O positive, dude. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, am I? Yeah, yeah. I think I am. Jeez. <laughs> so my bad. Um, I, I don't even know my blood type. That's okay. I don't know what it is. Let's just prick your finger and do that little test. I don't even think you can do that. I think it was like on my, some type of cer- uh, certificate at birth. Not huh. that one. Not the is it on your birth certificate? No, it's not on there. No. It's something else. It's, no. Yeah. I have no clue. So, probably should find that out. You just go get your blood. How do you do that? How do they test your blood? I now? ordered those kits. I have them at the house. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, I got them on Amazon. I'd like one to see what type of blood I am. I'll bring them. Okay. Or you can get them when you're over tomorrow. I think it's very interesting because all the stuff I was reading, I was like, oh, whoa. Barbara, yeah. I'm not going to your house tomorrow. Yeah, for a birthday party. Oh, yeah. Bits. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Bits. Libby's, Libby's <laughs> sister. I forgot about that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> we're going to Red Lobster. Yes, ma'am. Red Lobster. Y'all want to go with us? Yeah, just as well. The Y'all, biscuits. Uh-huh. Biscuits. The cinnamon ones. Uh-huh. Uh, Is it lobster cinnamon? Fest? Oh, fuck. They're like, oh, Garlic. I'm thinking of um, this other place. Oh. Damn. Yeah, you're tripping balls. Wait, what place has cinnamon butter? Yeah. Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Oh, that's oh, those are fucking. Here's good. the deal. Here's the deal. We're all wearing mumus. Everyone that comes has to wear mumus. So Brett, if you're coming, you have to wear mumus. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, coming, dude. Comfortable. Should I bring my family? Are they? Will they still be here? They have to yeah. wear mumus. I'll they, give they them mumus. They all have to wear mumus. Okay, I'll put them in one. Let's go. Let's go to Red Lobster. I'm excited. Should we call? There's, There's going like to be like 20, 20 people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call them tomorrow. Hey, can we have a birthday party? Can Do we call? have the back room? Yeah, they, we need a little back room. Well, if we got 20 people rolling in, I would call. And in Moo Moo's. And it's a Saturday. Yeah, we need to call. I'll call. Okay, you call them. Call them. Call them. Call them up. Interesting. Call them up. All right. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Call them. Love ya. Hey, honey. It's me here. So, this is kind of funny. It might be a little long. I'm sorry, but I swear to God it's good. Um... So I've been hooking up with this guy, and he wants me to meet a girl he's also been hooking up with and have a threesome. So she messaged me because she knows about me, and it's cool. It's all fun. And so I've been going out with her and hooking up with her, and he doesn't know, and he thinks he's going to arrange us to meet each other. But we've already been been hanging out and everything, so we're going to surprise him with the threesome first and we've been trying to like brainstorm ideas on how we want to surprise him like if we want to like one of us like pop out of a closet or something fucking crazy but I thought that it would be super funny to get you guys advice on it and I know you'll have something great um but yeah I love your podcast I have a shitty job and listening to your podcast literally gets me through doing boring fucking office work every single day um love you guys uh oh yeah oh yeah love you wow what a good surprise love you honeys oh yeah. man hey honeys they're slick yeah he's like oh he he wants us to meet we're already scissoring he's probably so happy that he well when he finds out mm-hmm. you know that he didn't have to do the planning right that yes that takes a lot of pressure off someone just a lot of calendar work yeah i like the idea of the third the the second girl being like a surprise element i think you should like one of you guys should be fucking him like a regular sex session but almost make it do some role play do some role play where like i don't know you need to bring in a third person like you're you need to blindfold him Oh, and be sucking on his <sighs> cack, and then have the other person slip in on his head or something. That's Whoa. good. Mm-hmm. That's good. And I know it's a sketchy area, being like, "Oh, he'll be blindfolded," like consent wise. But it's he's consenting to it if he's trying to 
play on this together. Yeah. yeah. Maybe no blindfold. I anyway. think I think a blindfold. I, <laughs> yeah, because people do that already. Yeah. If they're gonna be all all sexual or uh, do something like. Oh yeah, do you want my sister to come in? <laughs> oh, and God. then she walks in, and then lick no. your sister's pussy. Lick your sister's pussy. You know, you know what would be good? What if she blindfolds him, and then squats on his face and mm. is like, "Eat my pussy." And so he's sitting there eating her pussy, thinking it's just them two, and the other one starts licking on his balls. Yeah, what a surprise element. <laughs> but then you know he might not. His knees might start flying and they hit the face. You know, well that's the of- risk you're gonna take if you're wanting to surprise somebody with the threesome. Yeah. This isn't his first rodeo either. I mean, if you're having three sums and somebody starts licking your balls while somebody's on your face, it's not going to be some big surprise, Brett. No, that's actually that's what I would do. I would hand tie, not yeah, tie him up. Maybe not hand tie, but definitely, definitely eyes. Mm-hmm. Squat on his face while he's licking your clit. Just get the other one. Go. Or send her a quick text. Have her under the bed. Yeah. And then, and then yeah, she'll start licking. Fuck, dude. That sounds like a great time. That would, I would kind of wish I was, would could do stuff like that. Let's do it. At least be, I guess we are a part of it right now. Can you imagine? But we need more. <laughs> can you so, imagine? We need more like these so we can like help them plan. Can you imagine if you and Brett are fucking and you're like, <laughs> Just get in here, you start eating Brett's ass. I would yeah. rather die. I would yeah. rather. Oh my gosh, I have the best one. This is what they need to do. Home girl who's fucking him already needs to be laying on the bed, and he's eating her pussy. Normal other girl slips in and starts eat licking his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that would. Oh man, he'd lose it. Right there. He'd lose it. <laughs> she just walks in and spreads them cheek. He's already in that. He's yeah. already doggy. It'd be perfect. Downward <laughs> doggy licking the He's puss. Already vulnerable. Yeah. That oh, would man. be fun. Yeah. Because you were like, who's licking my ass? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would you rather surprise your balls be getting licked or your asshole? Or I, think, what? I think balls is safer for everyone. <laughs> That's I, true. I think balls are safer than an asshole. That's true. My yeah. my balls are just too sensitive. I feel. What, what do you yeah. mean? I'd prefer the asshole. Okay, I was yeah. about to say, Brett, if you want your ass eaten, just say that. Yeah. Don't say your balls are sensitive. Yeah. The fact that she's going to come in and just start licking his balls <laughs> instead of sucking his dick, it's funny. Oh, my gosh, dude. She Plus, sounded very happy and energetic, too. So, Oh, they're excited yeah. about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big plans. Like the energy. I'm excited for them. Oh, yeah. What would you guys do? Do you guys like that surprise, or would you twist it up? Yeah, I mean, whatever, what y'all just said. <laughs> Maggie don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Maggie don't even know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. what y'all just said. <laughs> what y'all just said. <laughs> or sometimes we'll ask Maggie a question, and she goes, same. <laughs> That's the fucking best. Oh, good times. Oh, my gosh, dude. Ha- just whatever you do, have a good time. And we love you. Love you, honeys. If you're watching this right now, you're probably thinking, ooh, hey, they look really good right now. Chelsea and Paige look really good. And if you're listening and not watching, it's because we have awesome trucker hats on right now. Okay? Mine says, what does it say? Kind of famous. Kind of famous. Because I'm not famous, but I'm kind of famous. And then yours says, fuck yeah, probably. And listen, I want to tell you guys about inappropriatetruckerhats.com. Okay? This business is a female-owned business by Becca, Uncle Becca, okay? And one of my best friends in the whole world works there, Becky. And they make our trucker hats for the stand-up shows for the merch table. And uh, listen, they have over 500 sayings to choose from, okay? These hats are good for wedding parties, bachelorette parties. Concerts. Concerts. What did you say, Beth? River floats. River floats. Baseball games, basketball games, any type funerals. of funerals, an outdoor gathering, a family party, uh, family reunions. Oh my 
gosh, you know. And, and dude, whether you want to buy one hat for yourself or a bunch for gifts, listen, if you think, oh, gosh, I have a gift coming up. This person's so hard to buy for. I guarantee you they don't have an inappropriate trucker hat, do they? No, they don't. I got something to say. You know we love supporting our truckers, and also go down and support Becky and Becca. Yes. And, you guys, they ship world wide and they will customize anything you want on a hat if you want it to say uh the shrimps are singing guess what they can do that if you want it to say um she ate my asshole they'll do it and listen i messed up earlier when i said inappropriate trucker hats.com it's not inappropriate trucker hats.com that's not even a website don't go to that it's uncle becca.com and guess what they're going to give you guys 20 percent off your order just use code viral these hats are fun okay for my merch table they they say um i ate ass at a trailer trash tammy show we have some that say i suck dick at a trailer trash tammy show you can say anything but be, they made one for beth that said tammy's merch bitch i mean they'll put anything on, on a hat okay use code viral get your 20 percent off uncle becca dot um. Hey, honeys. House question here. Are we a wear our shoes in the house type of gals or guys, or are we a take your shoes off at the door kind of house? I would, I'm curious what you each do in your houses. I have grown up with dogs my whole life, so we're in shoes in the house family. So let me know what you think. Oh, yeah. Love you guys. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I would love to be a no shoe in the house guy, but I'm a big shoe in the house guy. Damn. For me, it is nasty. You're walking everywhere oh, and then you bring it in. I feel like it does depend on carpet or no carpet, kind of, or if you just get your ha- clean your house really well or have it cleaned. Then it's kind of like, uh, take off your fucking shoes Mm because just cleaned. I don't know. You have a bunch of pets, though, so it's probably harder for you guys. When So I've never had carpet before, but we just got carpet put on in our upstairs, the whole area. So when I go up there, I take my shoes off. Yeah, I I want to do that, too, for your new carpet. But we've got wood floors, and I've just, you know, I think years ago... We tried in in the Escondido house, we tried to do no shoes, and that lasted like two hours. It's hard when so many people come over, and the thing is, too, if people ask, should I take off my shoes, you don't want to be like, yeah. I, I why do I, why is it so hard to tell people to take off their shoes? Because it's annoying. You know? It's anno- It is annoying. We just need those covers. Yeah. You know, the little slip-on covers. Yep, that's actually smart. Because then nobody has to do anything. Right. Yeah, I've, it, it, it would be best to do no shoes, but I'm just, it's too much work. In the Asian culture, it's frowned upon. If you're wearing shoes in the house, like, Big time. that's why I, I struggle with it, but sometimes, damn, I, I just wear them. I know, because who wants to sit down and take them off? <laughs> Nobody. No, but what's funny is we, we'll sit down and take them off once we get inside. And on the couch. <sighs> God, we're dragging dude. so much shit in. I know. It's bad. It really is bad. Then so. I do it, and then I think of the germs, and then I think, oh, fuck, the germs probably help my immune system. I guess this this cow shit I stepped in earlier will help me in the long run. Well, you're a glass half full type of dude. Uh, how does that go? You don't know what I mean by that? Well, the glass half full, in which way? You always look at the positives and things. Oh. So instead of being like, oh, there's dirt and germs in my house, you're thinking, oh, this will help my immune system. You're a glass half full, dude. You're a po- You're looking at the positive instead of, oh. Or I'm making up excuses for being fucking lazy yeah. and not taking off my yeah. shoes. You're not a half empty. Yeah, you're not a half empty. You never heard that saying? I have. Okay. I just didn't know kind of in what sense you meant. But I am going to just start taking off my shoes in people's houses rather than asking. Because hmm. people don't want to be the person to say, yeah, take them off. So I'm just going to do them a solid and just do it. Okay. 
It gonna start fine. now. Gonna you, start today. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that unless they ask me. And it does. You gotta read the house too. Sometimes if you walk into a house, let's say you see those roaches, you're gonna be like, "Oh, I can keep my shoes on." Keeping them on. If they have immaculate white carpet, you're gonna take them off. Mm-hmm. Oh man. So read the house. Just read the house, okay? And thank you for calling me with that question, honeys. Love oh, you. Great one. Hey, honeys. Penis Origami here. Have you ladies ever heard of or been to the puppetry of the penis show in Las Vegas? It's these two men. The show's about an hour long, 40 bucks a ticket. They are completely naked for the show, and it's basically penis contortion. So they're up on stage just folding, twisting, scooping their flaccid dicks into different objects, such as, like, a hamburger, an Eiffel Tower, a pelican, (laughs) even a Loch Ness Monster. Just random shit. I went for my bachelorette party, and it was so fucking mesmerizing. Um, seems like something that would be right up your guys' alley, so just curious if you've ever heard of it, been to it, or would want to. Love ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of this. How have we never heard of this? Mm. Penis origami? Dude, and I hey, did I not tell you right before we started filming, I've been dying for a Vegas trip. We, I would go. To Vegas for this? Let's fucking go. I wonder what they're doing. Paige, that would be me and you if we had dicks. Oh, yeah. And long enough dicks to be twisting them like pretzels and stuff. And burgers? Holy shit. Sticking them in pelicans? What if we started a a female... uh, uh, A lip lip uh, origami? A lip origami where we're pulling out our meat and stuff. We have tacos. We make tacos. We could have beef stroganoff. Can you imagine the smell in there? <laughs> fish. We'll have fish. Um, we might as well serve sushi so it blends in. So people don't think, you know, people aren't grossed out. We'll just keep it to the side and say, that's the sushi, right. not us. Right. We'll have a sign that says, that's the sushi, <laughs> not, not us. us. Dude. That um, is, no, I think that's funny. I think it's genius. I'm mad I haven't heard about this. And we need to go. And how long is the show lasting? How long are they... Because she said only, an hour. There's only so many ways you can fold a dick. <laughs> fold a dick. Making a hamburger out of it? That's like a Disneyland line. You have to go, whoa, there's layers to a hamburger. Right. These are some long dicks. Right. And I'm wondering what their um, nut schedule has to be. Do they do this with a full load of nut? Do they need to nut right before? Does that does that change does that change how the dick and the balls contort? I've got questions. Do they have stretchers on the like hmm we gotta do they have go. to practice it? And we have to ask these que- we need one of these guys on the pod. I know. Dick origami guy. Mm-hmm. And can you imagine to once they got together and realized that they do this and they put their minds together and go, dude, we got to start a business. Where are they, do you think? Vegas. I know, but why, where at? I don't at know. At the MGM? <laughs> are they at dude. Caesar's Palace? Let's see here. And the backdrop? What's going on? Maybe they save the nut for the end of the show and just squirt it on the crowd. Whoa. They turn it into <clears throat> a something. Penis origami. Puppetry of penis. Is that it? It says puppetry of penis at the Erotic Heritage Museum. Hmm. Hmm. I'm seeing the Jewel Box Theater. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. So yeah, Erotic Heritage Museum, yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, have you guys seen that place or heard of it? Uh-uh. Gotta go. Dude, we gotta go. I'm in. Sign me up for that one for sure. <sighs> Sign us up. Books flight to Vegas to see some dude's dick look like a burger. <laughs> a burger. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, you sent me something that... Oh, no, no, no. You sent me that porn when the guy fucked the hamburger. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I I did. I was like, wait, I've seen that. Yeah. Nope. Yep. He just fucked a burger. This is going to be way cooler. Oh, this is going to be way cooler. Oh, let's go. Hey, if you guys know of anything cool like that, that you think, hey, they haven't talked about that, so they probably don't know about that, call us and let us know. It's my favorite thing when we learn something. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Mm-hmm. Hey, Paige and Chelsea. Love you, gals. 
Just wanted to uh, give you a little laugh today. Uh, did you hear about the Italian chef who died? He passed away. Love y'all. Oh, yeah! Huh? Huh? I don't get jokes like that. I guess. They kind of messed pasta. up. Yeah. Passed away. It's supposed to be he passed away? Yeah, they messed up. I think. She said pasta. Yeah. Passed away, maybe. Passed. Interesting. <sighs> Interesting. <laughs> well, uh... Fell flat for you? Did it fall flat for you? I hate when people tell me jokes. Really? <laughs> Because I never know if I'm going to get them or not. So <laughs> as they're telling me the joke, I'm thinking, fuck, dude, am I going to get this? I hope I get it. And, and then you, I don't know if the, when the joke's going to be over or not. If so, you, yeah. Usually it's a quick joke. Like, that took three seconds. Sometimes they're not quick. Yeah. So this guy ran it, came into the bar and yeah. this, and then it will have a three-parter, and they already fucking lost me. Oh, man. And it's then you, I'm yeah. waiting for the end of the joke, not knowing anything about the beginning of the joke. You like when people tell you jokes? I mean, if it's a good joke, yeah, I'll listen to a joke. Yeah, if it's a good joke, I love. I'll listen to a joke. Face to face? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a joke for you. You know who tells a lot of jokes? Roger. 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 We both got Roger. Roger. <laughs> Roger. Roger. We gotta have he Mom does. A and joke. he will die laughing and I'm sitting there like, huh? Exactly. <laughs> He'll think it's the funniest Sorry. thing in the world. Ma'am. 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 Sir, don't get it. Ma'am. Ma'am. Should we have him on the podcast? No. No. <laughs> Chelsea's like, What would no. we ask him? Have him on a uh, segment just telling a joke. Just, and that's it. Yeah, have yeah. him for one segment to tell us a joke. For. He would literally be like, ma'am, because he ma'am. wouldn't be able to hear anything you say. We'd have to no. turn these headphones all the way up. Ma'am. Ma'am. Let's have a se- Next time Roger's here, let's have a segment where he comes on and tells a joke. Yeah. What if he calls in all the time and then uh, just... Tells us a joke, and we'll have it Roger's yeah. jokes. Well, that, actually, that's true. Yeah. It'd be funny if he was live in person, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or both. Popping Rod- in. Dude, and the segment is Roger's jokes. <laughs> jokes by Roger. Well, because you know he's going to be staying with you uh, for, like, Roger weeks that. at a time. I know. Is that happening? I don't know. <laughs> Stop, I'm going to pee my pants, dude. We have an extra guest room Stop. in our house, and we're already calling it Roger's room. <laughs> it's Roger's room. I know. Roger's because pantry. Can you switch it to Roger's pantry? Roger's pantry. Because Roger is Greg's dad, and he recently retired. And since he since he's retired, he came and stayed with us for like three fucking months. Two months? A month? I don't even know. It was a long time. A few months. It was so long that he comes home one day, and he's like, Oh, got a job. No. <laughs> and we're like, huh? He was down at the shop. He works on cars. That's what he does for a living. He was down at the shop and some guy offered him a job. And he took it? I have no idea. He was talking to Greg about it. I was like, so he's got a wife at home in Texas. He's out here in California visiting you, just starting a new life, <laughs> getting a job. <laughs> yeah. I go, Greg, he's got to go home. He's been here two months. Yeah. He's fired. Roger's cool, though. When y'all meet Roger, not y'all, but the podcast, y'all mm-hmm. are going to... He's the ma'am. 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 He's so sweet. He got me watching The Chase on TV. Mm. It's a fun game. I didn't know that. Uh, Yeah. Huh. It's a good one. Hmm. You've never watched like The Jeopardy, Chase? But... No, but I will say this. I have been watching more game shows here lately, and I love them. Game shows are the best. They are. Mm-hmm. They need more. There's only like seven game shows. We have to come yeah. out with our... Let's put trivia all on HBO. Honey's game well, Network, there's 200 game shows on there. Mm. Oh, shit. I'm on the... I need that password. Yeah. We'll get you, we'll get you a password. Okay. Yeah. Start mm. watching game shows. There's not really good ones, though, anymore. We need to find... We need to flip through and find some good ones. What's, what's a game show you think we don't know about, maybe? I've been there's a lot of music game shows like finish the Shazam. lyrics. I've been watching finish the lyrics. The um, I don't think there's, there's that an, many. There's an, there's one uh, that ho- hosted by Jamie Fox. That's really good. I forgot what it's called. Shazam. Is that Shazam? Yeah, I think. can't remember. I think the music so. one. Um, I love get. I, I and I was thinking I don't watch enough, and so I've been trying to watch a lot of game shows. I used to love Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Mm-hmm. 
the that music. Was, dun, dun, dun. The music on that show. And that blue lighting got that me. put you into a vibe. Mm-hmm. We need to go back to Price is Right. Yeah. We've all been to Price is Right. We need to go back and get on. And Family Feud. I would like to see that live. <sighs> they have a live audience, right? Yeah, that's not made up. That's my goal, to get on Family Feud. The celebrity one? Mm-hmm. Dr. Phil was just on there. God. Yeah. Burt Kreischer just did it. He's everywhere. I know. He's popping. Did he have his shirt off? I don't know. Had to have. Yeah. Nikki Glaser and her family were on there. If they can do it, we can. Hey, can you guys go fill out a petition, get us on Family Feud? Go tag Family Feud. Yeah. Go tag Steve. Go, Dude, can I just say, and you know what? I'm glad you brought Steve Harvey up. Yeah, me too. Got something to say about him too. Me too. Okay? I've been wanting to say this. Steve Harvey is one cool motherfucker. I second that. And he's witty as fuck. And we don't talk about him enough. One problem with him, I can't fucking understand him. What? Like when he speaks? Sometimes. Sometimes. What? When he goes, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We surveyed, and I can't. So that's the only thing I'm a little nervous about. If I'm on there, some of just you, just go, what? ma'am. I'll go, ma- Steve. Ma'am. Steve. Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> See, I've never noticed that. I I hear him clearly. Okay, then you guys stand by me and uh, translate. Sometimes okay. I struggle. Oh, I love Steve Harvey. I just, I mean, he's a cool dude, and his TV, his his Steve Harvey show. I just love Steve Harvey. Me too. I heard that he was adopted, right? Oh. oh, I didn't know that. Wasn't he adopted Yeah, when he well, was younger? I'm not sure, but he moved in with another family. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. But he was like in high school or something or something like that when oh, that happened. Yeah. They really yeah. helped him, he said, and he started yeah. crying. I saw that. Yeah, so that's like the family he takes care of now because yeah. they helped him. It's cute. And his fa- his facial expressions are a big part of his comedy. When somebody asks something, just the look on his face, mm-hmm. I'm like, Steve, God love him, dude. Dr. Phil said something <clears throat> that he knew wasn't going to be up on the board. And he's like, I know it's not going to be up there, but, <laughs> and th- yeah, he like pranked Dr. <sighs> Phil. I just love Steve that Harvey. Cool. Yeah. So, so shout out to Steve Harvey. Shout out to Steve Harvey. If you're listening and watching this, we love you. Comment below, Steve. If you're Steve Harvey or you run his social media, comment below and let us know. On Steve's account, not on the Family Feud account. No, no, no. We want it from Steve's uh, verified account. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dude, it happened with Chad Kroger. I know. And Nickelback. So it could happen with Steve Harvey. I know what makes... Steve better than Chad. Nothing. They're both rock stars. Holy fuck. Okay, let's slide on to the next question because I got to piss. Okay, let's slide on over to the next question because I got to rub one out. What? Hi, ladies. I just got back from a bachelorette party and it got me thinking. Chelsea, did you have a bachelorette party? And Paige, if you were to have one, where would you have it? All right. Love you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this question. Dude, my bachelorette party was so fucking stupid. (laughs) (laughs) I can't see it, man. Too good. And looking back, I'm so mad that I did this. So, here was my bachelorette party. First off, Maggie wasn't there because she was in jail. I was in jail. (laughs) (laughs) I missed it. I, I remember, almost missed your wedding. I remember this. Yeah, so Maggie wasn't there because she uh, kicked a cop and got locked up. So my bachelorette party, I had never been to a club before. Like a club. Remember? A club. Boom, like, boom. I don't know if people still really go to clubs all that much, but back in the, you oh, know. Oh, they're still going, dude. Well, even back in the early, mid-2000s, I mean, a club, like a club. Everybody went to the club. Everybody in the club, dude. Yes. In the club tips. And I was like, ooh, I want to go to a nightclub. So it was me, Beth, Becca, my best friend Becca from high school, and like three other people that I don't even know who was there. What? I mean, I have no clue. 
I, I have to go back and look at the pictures to see who was there. This girl I used to work with was there. It was not a whole lot of us. We dressed up in club attire. Damn. We, like a short, hot black dresses, hair and makeup. I mean, I looked fucking hot. Were you the only one wearing a different color dress than everybody else? I can't remember. Tiara. Let me look up pictures and I'll post them to the uh, Instagram, to the pod Instagram. Got it. Um, I looked so hot. We went and ate at Razoo's. Razoo's in Dallas because I'd always wanted to eat there. And we got a big old punch bowl of an alcoholic fruit punch. Bunch of different straws. <clears throat> Maggie, listen up to what you missed out on. <laughs> we all had straws and we took pictures like drinking the straws. And we went to this nightclub. <clears throat> God, where'd we go? It used to be a very popular nightclub in Dallas. Do you mean? Mm. No. No. Club. Let me look it up. Getting uh, dick down in Dallas. Let me look it up. Popular, popular. nightclub. What was Razoo's? Is that a um, pasta place? It was like a Cajun restaurant. Oh, yeah. wow. Cajun food, catfish, stuff like that. Um, What were you doing in jail at this time? Do you oh remember? God. Just twiddling my thumbs, Just you know, chilling. sitting in my cell. Mm-hmm. Just chilling. Like all the celebrities used to go to this nightclub. Oh, my gosh. I can't find it. But it's, it was such, they had, I mean, it was such a popular nightclub in Dallas. It's not open anymore. Anyway, um. We get there. <clears throat> I'm stoked. And there's like no line. And we got there really early. <laughs> <laughs> we got there like when it opened. Yeah. And the guy's like, uh, basically said he couldn't get us in. We couldn't get in. Like the front guy bouncer. And uh, and uh, I used reverse psychology on this motherfucker. Oh, boy. Becca goes, uh, he, he can get us in. I go, Pff can't get us in he can't do shit and he goes hold on <laughs> and goes and comes back and goes follow me now he's go, competitive I go, eh, got he. nice one dude um and we go in <clears throat> and it was boring and we sat there and took pictures of ourselves and had a couple drinks and the music was loud and i'm just like Mm-mm-mm. we leave we go to the parking lot we're taking pictures of, with random dudes in the parking lot just having a wild night, and uh, I mean, we didn't have money to do anything else. Looking back, I'm like, man, I w- it would have been cool to have like a weekend girls trip at a cabin or something like that, you know. But mm-hmm. but that's what I did for my bachelorette party. <clears throat> that's still, you know, you're with your friends. Yeah, and that's what you did, so can't change it. I'm gonna post pictures, but, but what would you do? Well, no club. I was just saying last night, because we went to Broadway with my family, and there's nothing worse than going out. I feel like when you go out, all you do is look for the people that you went out with all night. Like, where's this person? Oh, they just went... It's fucking annoying. You can't hear, Mm -hmm. because the music's too loud. I -hmm. would probably, yeah, just go on a trip, do like a girl's trip, and go stay in a house, and... uh, Play card games, chill, yep. drink, yep. pool, definitely a swimming pool, and just hang out and maybe go eat a couple. That sounds times. like a that sounds like the perfect time to me. Yeah, that sounds perfect. We can do the occasional uh, bachelorette party game, but other than that, I think I'm good. Oh yeah, I wore a sash. We did have dick name tags. I mean, we did the whole stupid shit. <laughs> I went to a bachelorette party once and. Found that dick confetti for years after. In my shoes, what? everywhere. Yeah. That's funny. Beth hates confetti. Beth hates sparkles, huh, Beth? Mm-hmm. Hates Aww. them. Aww. Uh, y'all want another little girl's trip to Sedona. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Hey, you guys need to uh, open yeah. up a portal while you're there next time. Yeah, yeah. we're going to open one up. Yeah. Just open up yeah. our legs. I'll just open my legs. Big portal. That Airbnb <laughs> we stayed at was so nice. I know. Oh, we got to go back. That was the first time I saw Maggie with Cheese Whiz. She just kept, she she was just put that fucking Cheese Whiz all over in her mouth. Oh, yeah. I it was funny. Damn. Cheese Whiz and Trulies out in that hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time in Sedona, Arizona. <clears throat> Thank you for calling in with that. I love questions like that. That hey, was great. A, sorry, what did Greg do? Just sorry. 
for his bachelor. Oh, God. Probably went fishing. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I wonder if Greg remembers. <laughs> Call him. Call Greg. Call him I, I want to say I have no clue. Hmm. I want to say maybe it was a little fishing trip or something. I don't know. Strip club. No, I don't think he did that. Strip club and diamond bills. Strip club. Strip club. Probably went to the strip club with Roger. <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am. Lap dance, ma'am. Ma'am. We got to go back to that strip club in Louisiana. Louisiana? That male strip club. Oh, I wanted to do that. Man, that was fun. <sighs> it was. I'd go back. They were really. Yeah, well, I, I enjoy a female strip club more. I'd rather do the dick origami. Yes. Honestly, that's yeah, that's cool. Well, let's do it all. Let's do it all. We got the time. I want more shows like that, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A tit one. A tit origami. Come on, just smashing things with your tit, doing things with your tits and nipples. Make a cake. Some yeah. girls say they can crush the soda cans with their pussies. Where are those shows? The crushers. Right. Right. Crushers. You see crushers on a billboard, and it's just some chick squatting. On a can. <laughs> She's just crushing crush, orange crush. Stop. With her pussy lips. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Oh, beautiful question. This is the last one. <gasps> last question of the evening uh, of the broadcast. Hit it. Hey, honeys. Me here. Um, I'm just dealing with a little PTSD, which is fine. I'm okay. Um. I've just been emotionally cheated on a couple months ago, and I just want to ask, would you rather get emotionally cheated on, or would you rather your partner cheat on you by hooking up with someone they had zero feelings for? Because personally, I think emotional cheating is much worse, and let me tell you why. Because that's like something that's so much deeper because I feel like you can just have sex with whoever the fuck and, it, you know, you don't even think about it the next day. You know, I, I've had meaningless sex for years when I was single. You know, I, it's just don't even, like, I could probably, I can't even name all the people I've had sex with. That's how insignificant they are. You know, no, no judgment. But I feel like emotionally cheating when you have that connection with someone that goes deeper and it's more intimate than just a casual fuck. I feel like that's, worse let me know if you agree or not i love you guys i listen to you every fucking week and i just want to let you know that you guys are the reason why i you know i have something to look forward to every day so thank you so much for everything that you do for everyone all the rock fuckers we truly appreciate you thank you so much oh yeah that's that's really sweet. Thank you so much for saying that, honeys. We love yes, you. Love you. We love you. And I'm oh God. I'm sorry this happened to you, dude. That's that's not not good. That's not shitty. cool. No. Um, for me, cheating's cheating, whether it be physical or, but I do get what where she's coming from, the mm-hmm. emotional because. It, I feel like there are more feelings involved. If you're giving that person so much more energy that you could be obviously giving the person you're fucking with, mm-hmm. that's hard because you're they're building a relationship. I don't know. That is hard. Um, God, I feel like this would be like a case by case. I've, I don't know because is it emotionally, is it online? It, would they be talking to someone online that's emotional? Would it be emotional with like in person, like a coworker? That's different to me. I feel like, yeah. Um, but also feel like physical is not not too far away from emotional because if they're if they're willing to for it to be meaningless and have no connection or tie, then it, I feel like that'd be easy for them to continue doing. <sighs> this is tough. Well. Uh, would you rather, let's say, Greg just goes and fucks five people and doesn't talk to any of them again? Or just, let's say, he's just talking to one person emotionally and not fucking them? Is it, is it in person, though? Or online? In person. 
they're saying like no sex, but they're saying I love you, I have feelings for you, they want to spend time together. They're plotting. Mm. Or five random bangs that, that that he doesn't talk to again. God, I'm 50-50. That's a tough one. She's she got me. She stumped me. It, <sighs> it's both just so hard. I mean, having people lie to you and cheat on you is just got it's not it's not okay and it leaves that person feeling insecure there's so many yeah. things that come along with cheating it's not just the yeah. person cheating and see ya we're broken up no it leaves a lot of damage on a person so fuck cheaters which is worse to y'all emotional or physical cheating Again, I think it all depends. That's maybe. what I'm saying. It, it it's a case back. It depends on the person, the situation, but as a whole, I guess. I mean, I think it is a huge uh, commitment to uh, open up your hole for entry. <laughs> okay, you know? for so, entry. Yeah. Okay. Have your holes vulnerable. All right. That could just happen on any given moment. I mean, I mean you can be, you can be in a handed. Target parking lot and have your hole penetrated. A gas station by someone uh, walking by. Yeah, you could yeah, bend over to pick uh, something up and get entered. 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 <laughs> what about you, Maggie? I would say emotionally for me. Yeah. They just went and fucked somebody. I don't know. But it's the emotional connection. Yeah. That would probably fuck with me. Because you know they could have like a bond with somebody else besides you almost. Let, let's put it this way. You are, you've been married 30 years. Great marriage. Wonderful, you know, same person, married, you've married 30 years. He comes and and tells you, um, hey, I just want to let you know, I slept with someone 20 years ago, happened one time, we never talked again, I I didn't know her, blah, 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 one time that was it, 20 years ago. Or, hey, I had an affair where I loved this woman 20 years ago, we had a relationship, I loved her, which one's worse? The second one. I, now that I put it that way, I think so as well. Yeah, And I feel like people, too, who are in those emotional relationships, they still they would still have those feelings almost. Yeah. Or be thinking about that person maybe all the time. Right. And mm-hmm. When you're still in the relationship, right. you know? Right. They're not thinking about that. Not what they could be. Right. But, yeah, maybe emotional is fucking hard. Who knows, dude? Yeah. Emotions are hard anyway. Right. It's all hard, honeys. Sorry that happened to you. I w- we wish you all the best. Yes, and we love you. We love, love everyone you. listening and anybody who's going through some hard shit, some good shit, mm-hmm. some crazy mm-hmm. shit. We love y'all. Thank you for the support on the podcast. We love you, honeys. And call us in and let us know if you have fucked somebody's grandma or... We'd love to know that. Or Great grandma. Surely somebody listening has fucked somebody's grandma. Or if you can do any cool tricks or anything, and make sure you check out the merch, theviralpodcast.co. Check out our Instagrams, our Patreons, our OFs, our everything. And anybody else have anything to say? I think I've said, I think I've said it all. (laughs) All right, give us a call at 442-777-777. Three, 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 one. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. ready, ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Woo! Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, I have to pee, ma'am. Me too.